Welcome to OG's Wealth of Math. In this video, we want to see how we can solve problems on binomial expansion for a specific term. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can do that. Share my link, make comments on my video, click on the notification bell. Thank you. Now, in the previous video, in my previous video, I talked about binomial by Pascal Triangle, but today we want to see how we can use the, you know, binomial theorem, the formula for binomial theorem. All right. Now, this is what the formula looks like. I have my binomial, for instance, if I have x plus y to the power of n. So this is my binomial, which contains two terms. You know, raised to a power will be the summation of n. Zero will start from, um, r will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. And then I have my n combination r dot, the first term x to the power of n minus r dot, the second term y to the power of r, where r is greater than or equal to zero. And then my combination n combination r simply means n factorial divided by n minus r factorial dot r factorial. Now, I'm going to explain all of the term in this formula. What's the relationship between n and r? Now, if you look at your binomial, this is my binomial, and this is the highest power of my binomial. So n stands for the highest power of your binomial. So in this case, the highest power of my binomial is 6. And the second question, the highest power of my binomial is 8. Now, what does r represent? I will represent the term number. Question says the first term. So I will represent the term number. The sixth term, I will represent the term number. Now, when the term number is 1, my R will be 0. When the term number is 2, my R will be 1. When the term number is 3, my R will be 2. When the term number is 4, my R will be 3. So that is how it goes. Now, R has to be greater than or equal to zero. It simply means that the least value of R will be zero. Now, I need to teach you how to, you know, solve for factorial. Now, if I have, for instance, five combination three, five combination three simply means five factorial divided by five minus three factorial three factorial. Now, what does five factorial simply means? It means I have to move from five down to one. 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 is decreasing, multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So that's what 5 factorial is. What is 0 factorial? You have to take note of that. 0 factorial simply means 1. Now, if I have a question like this, what do I do? 5 factorial, you watch out for this. I have 3 factorial. So it means that I'm going to move from 5 factorial to 3 factorial so that I can strike out 3 factorial. So I'm going to say 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 will give me 2 factorial. So 2 factorial means 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3 factorial. So 3 factorial comes to 3 factorial. 2 here 1, 2 here 2. So 5 times 2 will give me 10. So that's how to solve a um, problem on factorial. Now let's solve the problem on the board. Now find the full term of the binomial expansion of that. Now it means that my n is 6 because n represents the highest power of my binomial. And then r in this case is 3. Now I'm going to use combination. I'm going to the combination, which is a 6 combination 3 dot. My x represents my first term here, which is 2x to the power 6 minus 3 dot. My second term is 5 raised to the power of 3. Now, I'm going to do 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial. Then I have 3 factorial dot. I have um, 2x to the power of 6 minus 3 will give me 3 dot. 5 minus 3 will give me 125. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, 6 factorial means I'm going to move from 6 all the way down to 3 factorial. So 6 
multiply by 5, multiply by 4, multiply by 3 factorial, divided by 6 minus 3 will give me 3 factorial. So 3 factorial means 3 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, multiply by this 3 factorial. So I'm going to put it down 3 factorial dot. Now 2x raised to the power of 3 means 8. It means 2x multiplied by 2x multiplied by 2x, which will give me 8x to the power of 3 dot. 5 raised to the power of 3 will give me 125. 125. All right. Now, 3 factorial will cancel out 3 factorial. 3 times 3 is 6. 6 will cancel out 6. So I have 5 times 4 is 20. So I have 20 multiplied by 8x cubed multiplied by 125. Now, 20 multiplied by 8x cubed will give me 160x cubed multiplied by 125. If I multiply this by this, I'm going to get 20 thousand x raised to the power of 3. That, that'll solve the first problem. Now let's quickly solve the second problem. Now in the second problem, the question says find the sixth term of the binomial expansion of that. Now I said something about the relationship between n and r is that n represents the term number. So here, my term number, um, n represents, sorry, the i's power of my binomial, which is 8. And then R represents my term number, which will be 5. I already explained that from 0 uh, to, to 5. That would give you 6 term. Now I'm going to use my combination. I'll plug in all of this into my combination. So I have um, 8 combination 5 dot. I'm using this formula. Now x simply means the first term here is x squared raised to the power of 8 minus 5 dot. My second term is minus 2 in the binomial, will be raised to the power of 5. Now, 5 combination, 8 combination 5 simply means 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 5 factorial, then 5 factorial dot um, x squared raised to the power of 8 minus 5 is 3 dot. In this case, I have minus 2 raised to the power of 5. I'm going to get 32, but what, uh, one thing I want you to understand is when you have a negative base and then you have an even power, your, answer, your result will be negative. Sorry, if you have a negative base and uh, an odd power, your, your result will be negative. But if you have a negative base and an even power, your result will be positive. So in this case, I'm going to get negative 32. Now here, I have 8 factorial. I'm going to move from 8 all the way to 5 factorial, so 8 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5 factorial, divided by five, um, 8 minus 5 will give me 3 factorial, so 3 factorial simply means 3 times 2 times 1, multiplied by 5 factorial, dot. Now, in this case, I have double um, exponents, so you can go and watch my video on laws of exponent. So if you have double exponent, you multiply their exponent. So 2 multiplied by 3 will give me 6. So I have x raised to the power of 6 multiplied by negative 32. Now, 5 factorial will cancel out 5 factorial. 2 times 3 will be 6. 6 will cancel out 6. 5 times 7 will give me 56 multiplied by x6 multiplied by negative 32. So if I multiply 36, um, multiply by negative 32, I'm going to get negative 179, 1792. Then I have x raised to the power 6. So this is how to solve problem on binomial expansion for specific term. So thank you for watching my video. You can also subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math, share my link, make comments on my video, click on the notification bell, share your views. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.